Hello and welcome back to JTAC Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to get administrator permissions on any Windows machine from a Windows server. So here we have a machine. I'm going to create a user with general permissions that don't have any form of administration or any special permissions where it's just the user. So let's just create its user. Let's do the password. All right, there we go. So once it starts to load, we have the user, testing user. You got a member of, it's got domain users, general and users. Now, if I were to attempt to log on to the domain with this credential, it should give us an error this connection was denied because the user is not authorized to log on. Ooh, oh, actually, no, never mind. Hang on. Uh, remote control. Where are my settings? Now, if we attempt to log on to the domain, it gives us an error because they're only a standard user, they don't have administrator privileges. However, we can change that. If we head over here and go to member of and press add, now if we type in these following groups, domain and then select domain admins, and then add another one, we're going to go administra oops we're going to go administration and administrators which then gives them access to all the other administrative privileges now let's try uh, oops wrong credentials Here we go, we now have permission to log on to the domain controller and run things as a elevated user. So now we have complete administration permissions and can do whatever we want. So thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, and I shall see you all in the next video. See ya!